Welcome to our series on internal resistance, grade 12s. Today, we will start with resistors in both parallel and series. Then, we will do a problem of a circuit in which this type of combination appears with internal cell resistance. Resistors can be placed in series. In this case, all current flows through each resistor. The other common connection is resistors in parallel. In this case, current divides between the branches. Parallel and series resistors often occur in the same circuit. Let's look at an example. Here, three identical light bulbs, A, B, and C, are connected in an electric circuit. How bright is bulb A compared to B and C? B and C are connected in parallel, so they share the current equally, since the bulbs are identical and have the same resistance. A is connected in series, so all the current flows through it. Therefore, A is brighter than B and C. B and C are equally bright. If switch S is open, compare the brightness of the bulbs. If switch S is open, resistor C is cut off from the circuit. This turns both A and B into a series combination through which all of the current will flow one after the other. A and B will be equally bright and C will not shine. How do the currents in bulbs A and B change when switch S is opened? Both now have the same amount of current. When the switch was closed, A was brighter than B. So current A now decreases and B increases to make them both the same. Now let's do a circuit calculation which includes both a parallel and series resistor combination as well as internal cell resistance. This circuit shows a battery consisting of four cells, each 1,5 volts. The ammeter reads 0,5 ampere when the switch is closed. Voltmeter V1 reads 5,5 volt when the switch is closed. Calculate the value of the internal resistance of a single cell. First, let's find the EMF which is 1,5 volt times 4 and equals 6 volts. Next, we see that voltmeter 1 reads 5,5 volt instead of 6. This means 0,5 volts are lost due to internal resistance. We now use Ohm's law to calculate the internal resistance. Lost volts, 0,5, equals current times internal resistance R. This gives us an internal resistance of 1 ohm. The question asks for the internal resistance of each cell. Since we have 4, we divide by 4 and find that each cell has a resistance of 0,25 ohm. Now let's calculate the value of the resistance of the external circuit. First we find the resistance Rp of the parallel combination. We substitute into our formula and remember to invert our answer and we find the total resistance of the parallel combination is 6 ohms. Next we add our series resistor to the total parallel resistance to find our load, external resistance and we have our answer of 11 ohm. Finally, let's calculate the value of the reading on voltmeter V2. First, we need to find the potential difference over the 5 ohm resistor using Ohm's law. If we substitute our values, we find it to be 2,5 volts. Next, we subtract this value from our potential difference value at voltmeter 1, and this gives us the reading of 3 volts. So in summary, you should now be able to do calculations with any combination of series and parallel resistors when the internal resistance of the cells is taken into account. You will also find more information about electric circuits at www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Remember to try some of the questions in the task video. Goodbye.